Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I'm making magnetic clothespins. I've used everything from washi tape to nail polish. They're really easy to make. You can use them to put things on your refrigerator or you don't have to make them magnetic. You can use them just to hang things off of baskets or shelves or whatever your little heart desires. If you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, what you need is some regular everyday clothespins. They are cheapest at Walmart, but the Dollar Tree does have them. Um, you need some acrylic paint. You need, oh, maybe some washi tape. Maybe a little nail polish, my favorite. You also need magnets, um, or you don't. These are magnetic business cards that I've had for years. You need some hot glue, hot glue sticks, and maybe some little buttons or some little charms, whatever your heart desires. These are for you. These are for your refrigerator. So make them to go with either a theme that you're working with, a color, or something that the kids like. Okay, the first thing I did was I painted them all white. And you know me, it's paint it white and get the true colors out. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is try a little nail polish. This is my favorite, Sally Hansen extreme I love this stuff I've got way too many colors but this um purple one is my favorite and I'm just gonna paint one or two coats just on one side okay I ended up putting two coats uh, the Sally Hansen 554 Stargazer Lily on it. And it covered it pretty well. But you guys know me. So I got out my Pure Ice. And this is called Cheatin'. And it's super glittery. So I'm just going to put a coat of this on. One of them. And it may need two coats. We'll see. Okay, that's one coat. But we know me. I'm going to put another coat on. Oh, yeah. I like it better with two coats. But then again, can I ever get enough glitter? that dry. Okay, these are nice and dry. And I think the glitter on that one is more than enough. This one's really plain. So I'm going to put one of my Tim Holtz heirloom roses on it. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom. And I'm going to put it right above that wire so it doesn't interfere when you open it. And that's one set done. Well, St. Patty's Day is right around the corner. So I decided to paint one with some of my Deco Art dazzling metallic crystal green and it is a metallic green you can 
get almost any brand. And to make this one stand out a little better, I have some leftover um, lucky coins from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put some glue up in here. And there's another one done. Washi tape. I didn't have any washi tape that was St. Patrick's Day that was thin enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to try to put it on here. In fact, I think I'm going to use a little glue to make it stay a little better because this is going to be used. And I'm going to lay this down so that I make sure that the end is straight. Oh, pretty straight. And I've got a an X-Acto knife. I'm just going to Cut it on both ends. And then I'm going to run the Zacto knife down the side so there's nothing hanging over. And I'm going to cut that right here so that it can be used without bending and that would be cute enough as it is but I have a um, scatter from the Dollar Tree that was left over so I'm just gonna put a little hot glue on there and now we can put up St. Patrick's Day decorations This washi tape seems to be sticking a lot better than the shamrock. So I'm just going to press that on. And I'm going to cut this low enough to go down and wrap around. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I just think this is bright enough that the kids would really like it without having to add anything else on it. It's amazing how different they look just by changing up the washi tape. And this one, I decided I wanted to add a little angel. This is an angel charm. And all I'm going to do is Clip that little loop off the end. And hot glue into place. And I'm definitely not putting the hot glue in the angel before I put it on here because it is metal and it's going to be hot as heck.
Okay, now if you want to do some that are just a little plain, you could just use different color paints. But I'm going to play with some stickers and some... I don't even know what you call these. And the stickers, everybody knows how much I love bears, no matter what kind of bear it is. So I'm going to go through these and find one that I really like. Here I chose the little bear with the love. And I'm just going to stick that on there. Hmm. He's so cute. And this, I don't even remember where I got this. It was years and years ago. And I'm going to upend this so that there's more of a little charm going up and down. Okay, now we're going to put magnets on. You can get magnets almost anywhere. You can get the little squares. You can get the little um, on the roll. This is just what I had on hand. But all I did was figure out how wide I needed it and then cut it a little bit shorter. And then I'm just going to take off the tape, maybe. And if it doesn't, if the magnets that you get don't have adhesive on the back, you can certainly use the hot glue. But there it is. And there is nothing to it. Now, you don't have to add a magnet to this. You can just use this to gather papers, use it as a chip clip. I use clothespins for um, gathering different types of papers together when I'm working on a project. And especially when I'm doing a ton of brain dumping, I'll put them together with the clothespins and then go through them. But this is definitely going to be on the refrigerator since Connor is now writing. Well, he's trying to write. And there they are. He's holding Connor's little drawings. And there's more to decorate the refrigerator and stove and whatever he chooses to play with. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and... Be creating everyone.